I got some funny chickens in this flock and today I'm going to show you all of them because people are always asking me about them. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Dahlia. I'm a backyard chicken educator, also known as the president of Chickenlandia. Raising chickens has been the best way for me to find peace and joy in my life, and I wanna help you find that too. Okay, this is just gonna be a fun video. I'm gonna show you all the funniest chickens that I have, but I'm gonna start out with the ugly ones. <laughs> Uh, last year I rescued a couple of chickens. Their names are Libby and Connie and I gotta tell you these are the raggediest chickens I've ever seen. <laughs> but it is not my fault. I did not breed them. Some people might see them and be like why are you breeding those types of chickens? Okay they are very very poorly bred frat, uh, frizzles okay and when frizzles are poorly bred they're called frazzles because they just look frazzled all the time i got them from somebody who cared for them she loved them she didn't breed them she just told me like look i think there's something wrong with their feathers you want these chickens and i said yes so my main thing is just keeping them happy and i gotta tell you i think that these chickens are my editor's favorite chickens <laughs> Dan, you know you love these chickens because you put them in every shot. <laughs> so Libby and Connie are uh, Frizzle Co. Chins, and this is what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> and here's what they look like. Right now they look really bad, and actually Frazzles can suffer um, because they just seem to always be molting. They can get very uncomfortable. So far, they seem to be happy chickens. They lay every day. <laughs> they go broody all the time. It's just that they're bald-headed for most of the year. They, they look good for about two weeks. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Her name is Pac-Man. A long time ago, I did a video called Chicken from Outer Space. <laughs> and it was all about Pac-Man. I had just gotten her. She's super funny. She's got like this fabulous like side do going on. I love her and she is a Polish chicken. That is her breed. All right, so you guys know Bubblicious. He's, I, I'm always holding him in my videos. He's a total sweetheart. He is a silky, and his little friend is Ebear. And Ebear is a showgirl. I call him a showboy because <laughs> He's a rooster, but he's a showgirl chicken, which, you know, they came from turkins, uh, naked neck turkins, and silkies mixed together. So they are both bred very well. These are like, you know, especially Bubblish, this is probably like a show quality chicken. So yeah, I got them from a local breeder. They're not rescues. So I've had a lot of people uh, hate on me because of what I'm about to say. And all I can say is, you know what? In Chickenlandia, we know one thing, and that is haters have got to hate. <laughs> But I, I'm gonna say it anyway. Naked neck turkins are the cutest chickens on earth, okay? On this planet, in this universe, in the multi universes. <laughs> and I have one naked neck, uh, well, Ebear, Ebear has a naked neck, but he's a showboy. I have one naked neck turkin. Her name is Thumbelina, and she is beautiful. Now I have got lots of mixes. In fact, Binky, who's one of my favorite chickens, she's broody right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let her be. Uh, she is a mix. She's a mix between a silky and a bantam leghorn, and she is a great chicken. That is also what Zorro is. He is a silky uh, cross with a uh, bantam leghorn. They are bubblicious babies, and they are the babies of either Goo or Tilly. I have two bantam leghorns that I can't tell the difference between them. All right, so ages ago, I'm going to give you some Chickenlandia lore, okay? Ages ago, I got three baby chicks from a local breeder, and they were three roosters. Ebear, Bubblicious, and there was another one named Bigfoot, and he's a he was a beautiful blue silky rooster. And I have some of his babies here. I have got Littlefoot. Let me show you her. She is a cross between a Danver and a Silky. Okay, and this is Squatch, and Squatch is also Bigfoot's baby. She's a cross between a Silky and a Danver. Squatch and Littlefoot are not very tame. They're always freaking out about something. 
I'm not trying to kill you, honey. I promise. I just want to get a, a nice shot of you. And I have lots of other mixes. I've got like uh, Americana, Danver mixes. I, I don't even know where half of them are. I, the chicken math is getting a little out of control. <laughs> I've also got some Sarama mixes. They're like little chickens. They're just kind of like barnyard mixes. And I've got some old English. Ebear is trying to attack me. Do not attack me, Ebear. I know you think you're just so sexy, but <laughs> you're not sexy when you're attacking me. All right, and I have some itty bitty chickens. I love itty bitty, itty bitty chickens. I've got some really little Old English Game Bantams. They're barred. I have three of them, and their names are Itty Bitty and Boop. I can't tell the difference between them. I also have another rescue. Um, her name is Pidge. You've probably seen her. She's at the very bottom of the pecking order, but she does okay, and she's a pretty tough little chicken. She is rumpless. I have no idea what her breed is. I think probably she's crossed with, you know, some type of Cornish breed. She has no butt. <laughs> I think that's why the other chickens pick on her because she has no butt. They're like, oh my gosh, Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> she doesn't have one. Okay, now for the super funny chickens. All right, I have some, oh gosh, what is the name? Tolbunt Frizzle Polish. Frizzle Polish Tolbunt. Frizzle Tolbunt. <laughs> anyway, they're Polish chickens. They're frizzled and they have the Tolbunt coloring. I've got two of them. One of them, uh, she's got some chronic issues, so she does not look good. She never looks very good. And her name is Gizmo. The first year I had her, she looked pretty good. And then she became ill. She's a rescue. She had coccidiosis at a, as a baby and almost died. So she just does her feathering is not that great. And then recently I got Josefina and she looks pretty good, but she's got Bumblefoot right now. So she's got um, she's got a little boot on because I'm treating her for Bumblefoot. Ebear is over here. He's trying, stop it, Ebear. Do not attack me. Someone told me recently that Philippe would come back to me and that he might come back to me in one of my other chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Which I actually like, I really do, I do, I do believe that you can come back, that animals can come back to you. Uh, and I, and it really, like, when she said that, it really made me feel good. And I think he's come back and he bear <laughs> because he bear has started to attack me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you my absolute funniest chicken. <laughs> Her name is Beaker. She is a frizzled uh, Easter egger, okay? I got her from My Pet Chicken, not sponsored, but I got her from My Pet Chicken, and she is so cute. Beaker is a baby. She's gonna get a lot bigger. And I got her with, um, where's my other one? Anyway, her name is Inky, and they were raised by Binky. <laughs> I think the best thing about my flock is that I have all these different kinds of chickens. A lot of them are rescues. Some of my chickens are really old, but they come to Chickenlandia and I feel like they have a good life and they all live together and everybody gets along relatively well. You know, sometimes I have some squabbles. I have had issues with bullying before, but I do have some things that I do when there is a bully in the flock. It's really a matter of like knowing about the pecking order and kind of getting ahead of it. And there's a way that you can do that. And guess what? I have a video all about it. It's right here on the screen and it's 100% friendly backyard chickens education and entertainment. And I know you're gonna love it. All right, crazies, you want some treats? <laughs>